I just got back from work today. Um, I decided while I was at work, I'm going to run for president when I reach the age limit. I think it's 35. Uh, I'm, I can help this country and this planet so much, and so I will. And I'm going to do it the best way I can, help the most people I can. So I'm going to, I'm going to be president, and I'm going to run for president. And I'm not going to say that I'm going to be president because I'm not going to manipulate people. I'm not going to people. There's a duality to life. I can say I will be president, or I can say, you make the choice. And that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, maybe I'll get into politics. I think I'll, maybe I'll, I'll be governor before I do that. Okay, that said, now I'm going to let that go for years. <laughs> but I'm going to, I mean, everything, I'm focusing on something new. I realized that a lightning rod, today earlier I was just thinking, lightning rods don't get destroyed when they're struck by lightning. They just stay there. And they're a conduit, a metallic conduit for electricity. I am a lightning rod. The thing about being famous, if, if you, like Jesus, okay, some people were saying that I'm the second coming of Christ. I've been getting that on comments. People don't normally say it to my face. I think because they're afraid of saying it, maybe because they don't really believe it. Um, Jesus, the reason Jesus was killed is because he was a drugged out cult leader and he didn't have balance. And I think if you're imbalanced and famous, you're going to die. Because you can become more imbalanced. Like he just snowballed to death. This, everyone has a second coming in their own life. I had my second coming. Call it whatever you want, a reawakening, an understanding. Everybody gets to a point in their life where they understand things in a different way and they find peace with themselves. Everyone can. We have our own second coming. Jesus Christ is a, is a figment of our imagination, a concept, uh, a bunch of text, an idea about a person that was open. But dude, the guy is drugged out. Very drugged out. He didn't just smoke weed. The, look at, listen to the things he said about like the shit that floating and, and it was like acid trips stuff. I think if I do write a book, I'm going to call it Politics, Spirituality, and Everything in Between. But I don't know about writing a book. I see all these politicians write books. It's just so structured. I don't want to tell people what to do or how to live or my philosophy even in text because it gets misconstrued. It changes. It's not It's just me, you know. It's just me having my own ex experience, understanding things from my perception and offering that to people. And then everyone's got something. Uh, oh, okay. It's, see, I, I have like a lot of sporadic thoughts. I've had all these thoughts all day and I want to, I want to just get them out. And then watch it and listen to it and, and see myself talking about it and understand myself a little better. Oh, I was on CNN a couple days ago. I don't know if you knew that or not. Uh, I was contacted about the video response to Mitt Romney. And they put a, a portion of that, the very beginning of the video, where I said, hey, Mitt, it's e this is Ian. I didn't see it, but I heard they put that on there. The casual, hello, hey, Mitt, I'm Ian. That casual conversation with a politician, because a politician is just another person. We're all just people. We're all just people. And the politicians, as soon as we call them a politician, they become divided from us. And, and like in a, in a group of politicians that, no, no more, no more of that. That is the past. That is what we did when we weren't able to communicate. Now we can communicate, so we will. Now things will run smoother. Finally, no, finally, finally. I wasn't around before this, but I feel like I was around before I was born. Like I existed in the past somehow. Maybe it's because I see video of the past, so I feel like I was there. Um, okay, the final thing I want to say right now is, uh, well, the one thing, all, another thing I was thinking about is, is the mind, body, and spirit. Oh, this is fucking awesome, dude. The mind, body, and spirit is like, I, I realize I've been, I'm working, I've been working out and stretching, and that's the body, really, 
focusing on the body. The video games that I play, there's this game called Minesweeper and this other game called Majesty Kingdoms, and it's just like repetition. That's how, you, that's how I build my mind. That's how I improve my mental capacity uh, for learning and understanding the speed. I'm constantly playing these games and trying to get quicker scores and faster and faster and faster and understanding faster and faster and faster. And that's how I function in the third dimension, in the physical reality. I understand things very quickly. I listen and I understand things very quickly. And then the spirituality is the conversation, the communication. Mind, body, spirit. You, you, you work all three out. You, you, you physically stretch, work out, focus on something. I like to play video games to train my mind and communicate to train the spirit. And that's it. It's the, it's the triumvirate. That's it, man. YouTube is a spiritual thing for me because I'm understanding people. That's spirit. We have spirit. <laughs> we have spirit. I haven't done drugs in two days. I haven't smoked any weed. I didn't even said no to coffee when I was offered coffee. I, I'm, I, didn't, I'm, I don't have any marijuana. I don't have any weed. I don't have any, any drugs. Weed. I mean, I say drugs, but it's like I've, I've taken mushrooms a few times, three times. Two times, I like, I really, it hit me. And one time, it was, I just ate a little bit, and it was a very mild but it's the last, that's the last time I'm going to do that. I, I've learned it from it. I've learned what I will. I'm not going to do LSD. I'm not going to do drugs. I'm not going to get into drugs. I've explored. And I take what I learned from that now, which is fucking immense amounts of spiritual understanding. But leave it. Leave it at the door. The, the drugs, they infest us. We want to learn more and more and more about spirituality. But you're going to fucking die if you do that. So don't. Let them go. feels great to make a choice to be what I want to be and to do what I want to do and to understand things. I love you. That's been hard for me to say because I've been high on marijuana. It really deadens emotion. Not a problem, it's just another perspective. People I think are hyper emotional which is why for me, I was hyper emotional. I would take things personally, which is why for me, when I would smoke weed, I, I wouldn't be. So I was starting to like, when people would talk to me, I would see that, oh, they're not, it's not me that they're angry at. It's, it's them, they're, they're, they're flipping out because, but, but then, and then you know, it goes a step further, and then I realize, oh, they're flipping out because I'm nervous. <sighs> goes deeper and deeper. I just ripped off a piece of toilet paper and I'm gonna chew on it something I do. I used to play with tape too. Peel off a piece of tape and like play with it and chew on the tape. Like nervous habits. I think I'm going to stop doing that. <laughs> the last few days have been unbelievable. My life is amazing. This dude, oh my god. It's just getting better. It's just getting better. And it's not going to stop. We're all lightning rods. None of us are going to be destroyed when we open up. <sighs> See you later.